Hi guys, James with DBG, and as promised in the previous video, here is the other box that Norbert Millich has sent me. Um, I think they've just done some releases um, to coincide with um, some of the fancy miniatures that they've just done. I think they're in line with um, Ninth Age, which is a fan-based continuation of Warhammer Fancy Battles, once Games Workshop did what he did with um, killing off the old world and then creating Age of Sigma um, for the very selfish reason of trying to copyright something they couldn't and Alan Merritt decided to do weird stuff and then he was asked to resign and then Games Workshop since that moment have gone from strength to strength since Alan Merritt left who would think anyway so as I said in the last video um, Norbert Minch just sent me that massive dragon um, and they also had there was also another little box in that box, um, which I wasn't expecting. But when I opened it, they have some more miniatures. Um, so there's a couple of little bags there, and two bigger bags. Right. Now these two are the same. Now, I don't know if you can see, um, but it's actually. Um, it's what I would call a Chaos Dwarf, but I think what they call an Infernal Dwarf or in Mantic an Abyssal Dwarf, so basically an evil dwarf. Um, they, they are identical, so I'm just going to crack open one. Now, the only Northern miniatures I've done before this were for a commission and they were um, Foot Knights. They're very well detailed, but again, resins, so you have to be really careful with them, like you would do with all, all resin miniatures. So, come on, there it is. So, as you can see, it comes with your equivalent Games Workshop 20 by 20 square base, and then we have the actual miniature itself. Hang on, let me move my camera nearer. I've still got it set up for far away work. So there we go. You can see his tusks and his scale mail. There's a little bit of flash, but I would, I would expect nothing less. So it is resin, but I can see there's not a lot of warping there's just there's actually quite a bit of flash now, I don't know if that stuff on the top is supposed to be there or flash I think it's actually supposed to be fire I think it's like a burning thing and then we have a little hand which I believe attaches there like that oh it's gone out of focus. There we go. Focus. And then that will go. And it'll go together. So what I thought I'd do with those is we'll do some Kings of War multi-basing with those. So I'm just going to... Because I don't want to lose the small parts. I'm just going to pop him back in there. So again, at some point this year, and then this one, yeah, this one is identical is identical so I'll put those back in the box now when I first opened it I thought they were identical these bags are identical but they're not this one you can't tell this one has more infernal abyssal or chaos dwarfs in and this one this one has men at arms in so let's crack open this bad boy Sorry, Norbert. So let me see. We've got... There's 10 bases, so there's 10 miniatures in there. Um, I think these retail... 
at something like 16 or 17 euros. I could be wrong, could be more, could be 19. I should really check before I said that, but it's, they're not expensive. Not expensive at all. Now, There is 10, and they are multi-part. I'm a bit reluctant to get them out of the bags. Hope you can see them through. Um, so they're three part. <coughs> we have a shield arm, the actual torso, and then an ax. I think they are all, those two are identical. Yeah, I think they're all very similar models. There may be some slight differences in them. But, yeah, I hope you can see. There we go, perfect. The casting is still rather good. There's still a little bit of flash. But nothing too much. Yeah. So they're all actually... Pretty much identical. So you've got 10 identical dudes there. And these guys will be perfect for, as I said, ninth age, which I believe is something that Norba is quite, um, quite behind, or even Kings of War. Right, now on to, again, there should be 10 of these. Yep, so there's 10 of those. And we've got 10 men at arms. Now, I do follow Norba on Facebook, and I saw when these came out. And I was quite impressed with these. Oh, there's two in a bag. Oh, that's cool. Actually, these have got... Oh, get it in focus, James. Who's got big bread in the garden? Okay, um, apologies there, guys. A uh, bit of emergency in the garden. The dog was eating something we didn't know what it was. But it turned out it was just bread that someone had left out for some birds. So it's fine. Anyway, so two miniatures per pack. And these have got these awesome great swords. As you see, there's still a little bit of flash, but I wouldn't expect anything less. I do believe these are all going to be identical again. But they've got those awesome kite shields on the back. Let's just see about the headgear. Yeah, they've got a male koi font. Yeah. They're all identical. Yeah. As you can see, they're all they're all really good quality. There seems to be a little bit of a disparity in oh, focus, focus in the uh, possible mix of the resin. These ones are slightly darker than perhaps these ones. Or the other way around, um, but they shouldn't should be a problem when it comes to as long as you wash them properly, do all your proper uh, preparation as you would new, normally for resin kits. It should be a problem, and these will be perfect, absolutely perfect for uh, Bretonians or um, kingdoms kingdoms of men's army for. Kings of War. So, once again, a massive thank you to Norman Miniatures. That was unexpected. I wasn't expecting that at all. So yeah, that's um, two, three projects from Norba that you can expect at some point this year. Um, may even have to start doing a um, Kings of War force. You never know. Anyway, as usual, 
please do check out the links in the description to everyone Goblin Gaming, One Shot Gaming, our Patreon, our sponsors, Urban Mats and Winstone Games. Um, also the social media links as well. Check us out there. Um, yeah, as usual. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you next time.